Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are inside of a note-taking app, sort of note-taking app, that is bent towards those of you who like a more visual approach. This would be quite good for designers, for people who save a lot of images and want to have a place to store all of those images and use images mainly as, or PDFs as their second brain. Let's jump into this and see how it works. So this is an infinite canvas app, very similar to something like Miro, but I like this a lot better. I think it's a lot more fun and I will show you why, because the main selling point is the PDFs. So as you can see, I have created myself a card, which is basically a whiteboard, so I could create myself multiple cards. Uh, it is still very early days for an app like this, because they haven't even figured out their pricing structure yet. Right now it is free. Uh, but you can use it to create multiple different whiteboards and you could add text on top of those whiteboards. So I could have a text here, I could have a title and I could make it large. So let's call this suit guide. So as you may know, I work a little bit with design. So I do a little bit of design work. So I'm sort of used to these apps and I've been looking for a new one to do all of my brainstorming around uh, my different ideas for my clothing brand. Uh, and I can drag a PDF into here and it has a great PDF reader actually. So I can walk around and go through all of this and see the whole PDF inside of here. I can download it, I can give it tags so it uses tags to organize information and I can actually extract something from this so I could take this press extract and I would get a picture of the pdf inside of my workspace there are a few things lacking in the app I would love to see an OCR inside of this so I could be able to search through my different pdfs but as of right now, in its early days, it is a really cool looking app. You can have web pages inside of here. So I could add a web page here and I could make it smaller. I could press on this to actually go on the web page. I will uh, always allow this to see my clipboard. I could give this another tag. So let's say this would be note taking or even stationary. And then I could do a search based on my um, based on my tags. I can add different pictures. So let's say I wanted to do a YouTube video and I was looking at different thumbnails. I could do different thumbnails here. I can add Word files. I won't be able to preview those files, but I can add them into here and download them. So you could use this as a file manager as well. But as I said earlier, this is great for people who work in design uh, because this is sort of how you would work inside of uh, or in a physical whiteboard. It allows you to actually customize the colors using, for example, hex codes, which I am familiar with. So let's see if this works. It didn't work last time let's see if it works now as i said a few problems uh, here and there and things that need to be developed a bit more but it is really early days they haven't even figured out their pricing structure yet so you have to be a little bit patient but i think this could become a really cool app i like the way it looks a couple of features I would like to see is a way to connect different things together. And I would also uh, like to see, as I mentioned earlier, uh, a way to search through your PDFs. So that's mainly for students who would want to use this app because it can be used for students as well. You can go through all of your different PDFs and you can actually extract different things from them. Like I showed you, you could actually go in and extract a lot of different things 
from uh, from uh, the PDFs you have inside of here. It is really, really cool. I love the way it works. I think it does some things a little bit differently than what we are used to uh, inside of a lot of different other note-taking apps. So let's extract this as well. Um, and I am still struggling to figure out how everything works, but it has a lot of cool different, um, it has a lot of cool different features that I think would be very helpful if you are more into visual note taking. So that's basically it for today's video. As you can see, it is still slow sometimes uh, and it still needs a little bit of development, but I have tried it out and I think it's really fun to use. So I will leave a link down below so you can try it out as well. Let me know what you think and I hope to see you again for a new video quite soon.